Welcome back guys, we are continuing on with this Mick Williams Great Again Again challenge and we are at Zanfort next. So we've had to take a grid penalty fixing up Joe's powertrain, so he's starting in 20th. But Albon's had a really good qualifying session, so he's starting in 13th. So it's heavy rain. Zanfo, so let's have a look. So it looks like we're gonna need is that two laps? That looks like bloody two laps. Maybe three laps worth of soft tire and then intermediate I reckon up until around about lap 35 maybe where it's gonna need wets so we're gonna need wets for 35 to 50 maybe and then from 50 to 72 I mean there is going to be a section here where it's going to be pretty rough. So there's going to be a section here where it's going to be pretty rough driving on slicks. But I don't want to have to make a pit stop for intermediates. But then again, that is like six or seven laps. So maybe it is worth having six or seven laps on intermediates. back onto softs again to finish it off not ideal not ideal at all but I think that is going to be what we have to do Yep, that looks like it. Not going to bother messing about with the strategy on Joe. I'll just copy whatever I'm doing with Albon. Apparently, ah yeah, it's the engine. Let's get the show on the road, see what happens. It's going to be a bit of a crazy race. Get ready for some fighting between the sand dunes here at the Dutch Grand Prix. The drivers are ready and the crowds are waiting. It's the Dutch Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. Albon's fighting hard. Looks like he's going to lose that position though. Let's 
as soon as they try to race anyone, I just have no shot. Hold to black hole. Shall I bother using any more fuel or battery? I really don't think so. Yeah, I think I'm going to save the rest. I don't think he's got any chance of overtaking here. Increase lifting coast. Let's have a look, see how Joe's doing. He's probably in the same situation. There's a chance. He has got a bit more space in front of De Vries. Doesn't look like he's going to get the overtake done, unfortunately. He is close, though. The RS is currently disabled. The RS is currently disabled. Copy. Okay, so it's just starting to rain now. So, I don't think there's any point in pitting this lap. And I can double stack them without any issue, I think. So I think I'll probably double stack them on the next lap. Unfortunately, Joe hasn't been able to get the overtake. Keep pushing. It's quite unfortunate. We want lift cup, please. Copy. So yeah, we're definitely going to want to double stack. This lap. And Box then the set tire switch to into. We've got a little bit of tire to play with, but not loads on the intermediates. Further rain expected. Pop. So Verstappen pitted, but Sainz didn't. I'm amazed. Sainz, Russell, Stroll, Gasly, Oops. Magnussen. Just be wary the pitch is slippery. So yeah, I think them five have 
made a mistake not coming in. Let's have a look, see if Joe. Okay. Yeah, so. Sorry. That's a bit of a problem. Well, what's going on here? <laughs> what is going on? Well, that was ridiculous. Albon's lost seven places through that. That was absolutely ridiculous. Well, not much we can do about it. So, let's have a look at Magnuson. Where is he going to come out? Right, well, Magnuson actually got a pretty decent stop, staying out that one extra lap. I'm surprised. We got absolutely shafted. Yeah, that wasn't good. I think we're going to be in for a really rough race. Right, well, let's just push on the fuel. I think we can reduce lifting coast. And okay. I think Albon's going to need to use a bit of battery to get ahead of the freeze. Well, looks like we're going to be stuck in 19th and 20th. It's going to be the worst race of the season, I reckon. Yeah, I can't see us getting the overtake done. Okay, we are low in the pack. Okay. One more lap, and then I'll reduce the pace of the tyres. But yeah, this does not look promising at all. Oh well, it's going to be a rough race. You can afford to drop back. Okay. Let me know on uh, conditions. 
it's dried out a lot. It's going to be sticks very soon. Yeah, it's going to be rough for sources. Okay, there's a big crash. Big right. Start finish. A I lot of who's debris. crashed. Magnuson's crashed. Red flag. Not sure why that's a red flag. Unfortunately, we don't get to look at the weather forecast or anything else to do with the race strategy, so I think we're probably just going to have to go back onto Inters. Our race here resumes as we get back underway. And it's lights out, and away we go. We can be aggressive with Mateki's edge. Right. Let's see if we can get some overtakes done. Doesn't look promising at all. I don't think we're going anywhere here. This time, starting time management. Right, Copy. let's have a look at the rain. So we're going to be going on to wet around about lap 27, which is not far away. As soon as I try to race anyone, I just have no shot. I think I might try to go from wet straight onto slicks, but I think it's a risk. So, what the RS? Copy. I think I might just stay on attack mode. So we're just having a look up here, waiting for the weather to change. I 
weather is not changing. Should be changing any moment now. Okay, let's see what the re weather report says. So it's still saying that we need to go onto wets. But it's not pouring down quickly. Okay, so I think I'm going to bring one car in now. I'll bring Albon in. And then I'll bring the other car in on the following lap. So we've ended up last and second to last again. Sergeant, no, Sergeant pitted. I don't know how he managed to get 13th position. Looks like he pitted a lap early. Yeah, we're in for a rough race. Not quite sure why these wets are 82 degrees. Must be because I'm following behind Joe. Wonder if you can tell them to you can say driving clean air, so that would technically mean driving the wet parts of the race race track. So that should cool the tyres down if I wanted to do that. But let's well, first of all, let's have a look up here. It's going to be another ten laps or so. So let's just attack. I think I might just attack with both, actually. I've got nothing to lose. Well, <laughs> I've got quite a lot to lose if they have a crash. There's a yellow flag now. Right. Let's just go on standard for a while. So now I need to decide whether to go on intermediates. I think I should. So I'm going to go on intermediates with Joe. I'm going to stay out with Albon. going to keep an eye on the lap times of Albon on the wets. Yeah. 
So his last lap was 124.2. A lot of the others are still on the wets as well. No further rain. Okay. So we've got another 124.2. Let's have a look, see what Joe's is on the intermediates. One twenty two. So I'm losing one and a half seconds around about staying on the wets at the moment. Let's see what it's gonna be on the next lap. So 124 to 122 seven. One twenty four two again. One twenty one three. So there's a large difference now, but I am going to jump straight onto the slicks with Albon. I don't want to do it too early or I'll lose massive amount of time. I reckon I'll pit once he drops down to the same position as Joe. I reckon that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, 127, so I'm losing an extra three seconds per lap now. So it's probably going to be this or next lap. Copy that. I'm on 28%, 27, 26. So the tyres are probably not going to last another lap, so let's jump straight onto. Probably softs. Yeah, so let's jump straight onto softs and just see what happens. Right, I want to make sure he doesn't slow Joe down, so let's do that. There we go. See if he pits onto slicks. Sorry. Okay, watch your white line and exit. Should be clear. Yeah, so Hamilton has pitted onto slicks. So I reckon. 
this lap I should probably pit onto slicks with Joe as well. And go push, go push. Copy. Have a look, see if Piastri Piastri didn't pit. So I'm going to pit. And let's see how things turn out with Piastri. Cushion coming in. Right, so Albon is quite far behind Joe, so staying out on the wets was not a good decision. I didn't think it would be, but I wanted to find out. We were already in last and second to last, so it's not like I had much to lose. So let's see what our lap time is going to be. Well, unfortunately, this particular lap, I'm going to have the pit stop time added on to it, so I'm going to have to wait two laps to find out what our actual lap time is going to be. to drop back. Right, so let's wait until Albon crosses the line and then we'll see what our times are in comparison to the people still on Inters. So 124 compared to 117, so we did pit too early. So yeah, a complete washout. We're on tire management. Copy. They still haven't pitted. A lot of them still haven't pitted. Red. Red flag. No. Oh, come on. That red flag's going to screw me. I could have overtaken all of the people who were still on Inters. But now they all get a free pit stop. What a disaster this race has been. Absolute disaster. Well, we might be able to get some overtakes. It's unlikely, but we might be able to. After a pause in this race, Oops. we are all set and ready <laughs> once more. And it's lights out, and away we go. Right. Close the gap if you can. Let's see if we can get some overtakes. Looks like we're going to overtake Sergeant. Overtaken the freeze as well, potentially. 
Yep. Ooh. Yep. Let's see if we can get Piastri. Nice overtake. Bloody hell, Joe's on fire. Albon's still stuck behind Sergeant. Right, Bottas up next. See if we can take him. Managed to get Bottas. I've got the inside line on the next corner. Nice. What is going on with Joe? Alright, well, we're going to have to calm down on the tyres. Focus on your tyres for the moment. Okay, happy to manage tyre short term. That was incredible yeah. by Joe there. One, two, three, four, five as places. As I try to anyone, I just have no shot. Albon's okay. still stuck behind okay. Sergeant. <laughs> Joe's not quite within DRS range of Hulkenberg, but Hulkenberg's got DRS on Sonoda anyway, so I don't think it would make too much difference. Tires cool down. I'll give it another go. Mm, it's possible he's going to drop outside of DRS though yeah he's dropped outside he has he has got the DRS he might be able to get back inside but no it doesn't look like it oh well if we can finish 14th then I'd be happy with that but unfortunately we are getting pressured by Piastri Looks like Piastri is going to take us. Ooh, that's tight. That's unfortunate. He's fighting though. He's not giving up. He's got the inside line. But Piastri's got the inside line for the next corner. Albon still stuck behind Sergeant. Yeah. 
Well, I think Joe managed to get in DRS, so hopefully he can catch back up to the Street. Albums dropped way behind though. Shall I try and take him? Probably on the main street. So I might start going aggressive on the tyres straight away. Yeah, we're too far behind, unfortunately. Going to take him round here. Manage tires. Copy. Try to get him on the next DRS though. Just round this corner. Yeah, I think the start finish straight is the only place I'd potentially be able to overtake him. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Piastri's caught up with Bottas now, so that's not good for us. So let's just let our tyres cool down as much as possible. I've got DRS, so that's good. That's four laps. Yeah. going to be a bit awkward. I think I'm probably going to have to wait for Piastri to overtake Bottas. I mean, we might be able to double overtake Bottas, both of us, but it's unlikely. Three laps to go. Oh, 
hopefully Piastri overtakes here and then breaks the DRS chain. No, fail. Fail. We've got a really good drive out of here, but there's no way I'm joining in this fight. I mean, he really wants to. Should I try and conserve some battery? I've only got three laps to go. I don't think I've got enough time for battery shenanigans. So, we're just going to have to try it on the next lap. I mean, I could try it round here. He does have a good drive out of here. Go on, I'm going to try it. All or nothing. Let's hope it's not nothing. Right, come on, Piastri. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close around here. Go on, take him. Yes. And now Bottas as well. is our last hope around this corner. Is he going to get a good drive? No. Oh well. We managed to get Piastri. So I'm quite happy about that. Finishing 14th. Leclerc. Charles Leclerc is today's winner. Finishing 14th in this race is a really good result because this has been a terrible race for us. Oh, there's no way he's going to be able to overtake me here, surely. 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 That's a good effort. Good effort. We finished. Keep the head down. Keep the head down. Don't know what One and a half tenths behind him. Yeah, I'll take that. 14th. That's a, a good result for a shocking race. I'll be honest now. It'll take a real lot Yeah, it really was a shocking race. Ah, we haven't scored a single point. I thought we'd scored one point. Okay. So, Alpha Tauri and Alpha Romeo. They're the two that we really don't want to score any points. Yeah, we had some really bad pit stops in that.
this one really screwed me over. That's a lot of mistakes. Three. Three out of seven. That's almost a 50% mistake ratio. I should be at 10%, not 50. What the hell? Well, we got three overtakes with Albon. Three defends, but Joe got eight overtakes. He was like a man possessed in that last section. Okay, well, we didn't get any damage to the cars. We have got a failed suspension, so we have got to replace that. But other than that, everything was pretty smooth. No accidents. So yeah, that was Zanfort. Crazy race. So join me again in the next one, and we will be at Monza. So cheers for watching, take care, I shall see you soon.